Hey, what is going on guys? It's DK. Back at you with another video here. A to predict the two game CSGO main slate on Tuesday. Before I get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is DK. I make daily videos breaking out NBA, NFL, PGA, and esports, daily fantasy sports slates, esports, including Call of Duty, League of Legends, and this one, Counter Strike CSGO. Um, also just want to say I apologize for not uh, my video yesterday for CSGO at least did not um, on OBS, it did not save properly, or the video quality, when I, the audio is there, but the video um, was still from when I made the um, TBT video, so I decided to just take it down, and um, I, I still tweeted it out, uh, uploaded to my uh, podcast, the DK uh, DFS show, um, but uh, yeah, so apologies for not getting that up to uh, on YouTube, just uh, again, video uh, quality uh, mishap there, but we are at um, 3.42 thousand subscribers now on YouTube, so again, appreciate all support. Uh, if you're listening to us at Apple Podcasts, a five-star rating and review would also be greatly appreciated, but um, yeah, with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So before we get into players and the prices for this two-game slate, what we can do is we can look back at my lineup here from Monday slate. Now, Monday slate's still going on because there were late games, right? It was 6 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern, or 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Eastern, I forget. I think it was 6 p.m. But So uh, in my video, I mentioned going with, with a three-man, um, uh, was it the Mythic, right? Mythic stack uh, with ZNF, Flom, and, and Kiti. Uh, those are my three favorite players. Uh, they won 2-0. Um, yeah, I mean, they still, they were higher owned, but not as high owned as I, I thought like they should be, right? 69, 64, and 65%. I'll take that, right? I'll eat the chalk on guys that are, um, you know, I think are, are the better plays. They're, they're the biggest favorites there. Uh, and then I went, um, with three man stack here with Pawn alone, DJ and Ben, 1337, and the slightly new addition to the team. So we'll see how it goes. Pawn alone was a guy that I really liked because, you know, him compared to everyone else's roster, um, he, he really stands out. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and, yeah, that's really a look back there. So a good start, and uh, we'll see how the late game goes for me. Um, all right, yeah, so we have another two-game slate. Um, I don't think we're going to see the, the big guns for CSGO, at least for a little bit. I think we get a couple weeks break, maybe even a month break from a lot of the top teams. So... We're going to start getting a lot of these, you know, tier two teams on a daily basis. So we're going to start getting a little bit more familiar with some of these teams. Again, Saw, Crazy, Avez, Luminar. I haven't really got to see any of these teams play. So basically my breakdown is just going to be going off of numbers. Now, I will try to watch some of these games for sure and pick some stuff up for, for future slates. But, um, you know, the analysis where you know, I can watch like, all the, the the main teams here at Ray, where I watch them every day, I don't get that really with these tier two teams. So... Let's take a look at the numbers. We have Saw versus Crazy. Saw the, are the biggest favorites on the slate at minus 333. And then Avez versus Luminar. This one's basically a coin flip right now. Luminar, slight, slight favorites at minus 141. So just looking at those odds and um, looking at the prices. Um, let's start with the Saw side first. So this is a side that I'll probably be going with the three-man stack again. It was kind of like the first game in the slate today. I mentioned you know they're the biggest favorites. I like going with the three-man stack. I like going the three-man stack of Saw here. Um, so let's take a look at their numbers uh, and their prices. So we have uh, Muterus is the most expensive at uh, 8.8K, but I think that's for good reason. Um, he's the guy that stands with the most on this team. Again, they're the biggest favorites. A, a nice 1.15 rating 2.0, 0.74 kills round, 0.66 death round. So, yeah, his price is up, sure, but I'm fine paying that. Uh, I think he, he stands out as one of the better plays, one of the... Uh, safest plays on this slate. Now let's scroll through everyone else in this roster. So if R key, uh, not the best numbers, right? 0. 0.59 kills round, 0. 0.66 deaths round. He is really cheap, 5.2k. So I think he's in play. Maybe a little bit. You know, that's maybe that's the way you want to differentiate yourself. Go with a, a value play. What you're hoping for there is kind of the 2-0, uh, right? And then you have um, Statado has the next the next best numbers on this team. At 0.7 kills round, 0.63 deaths round, a 1.13 rating 2.0. He comes in at 8K. So, sure, you're, you're probably going to have to pay, uh, you know, not really a premium, but, you know, pay up for these guys. I, I think it's worth it. Muniris and Stato, Stato, um are, are two of my favorite plays in the slate. Really like both those guys at 8.8 and 8K respectively. 
Um, the last two guys here were Just and RMN. Both have very similar numbers, right? Um, you could argue, you know, Just is slightly better there because uh, less um, deaths per round. Uh, but both have the same kills around 0.7. You have Just at 7.2, RMN at 6.4K. So for those prices, again, they're very similar. I would probably prefer the discount on RMN to Just. But again, those, those ones are, are, are very, very close plays to me. All in all, I think you can make an argument for anyone on this team because they're the biggest favorites. Um, they have the best chance to win 2-0. Um, so, yeah, I really think you can. My favorite plays would definitely be the two guys at the top, Meter and Tutato. But I, th I think just RMN and, and, and Acri are, are viable as well. Um, let's talk about uh, the crazy side now real quick. So this is a side I'm not crazy about. <laughs> um didn't even mean to do that, but it happened. Um, there, there's two plays that I think I'll consider as one off. So we can scroll through everyone's numbers here. Uh, surges, uh, okay, right? Psycho, negative. Don't really want to go there. Uh, I think this is toxic with the seven. Yeah, negative. Yeah, I'll stay away. Dem QQ it is decent, right? 0.73 kills on 0.68. Death round of 1.13 rating, 2.0. Sensi. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Has the best numbers here. 0.71 kills on 0.56 deaths on a 1.14 rating 2.0. So I think those two you can consider as one-offs. I mean, could you go the three-man crazy stack? Sure. It's going to be very contrarian. I'd probably just pick the top three guys if I was going to do that. But I think you can consider a guy like Sensi or even Dem QQ as one-offs because, you know, compared to the rest of the roster, they stand out. So... Um, yeah, I don't think I would consider the value plays on this on this slate unless you want to get very very contrarian. Again, we've seen bigger upsets. It's not like minus what minus three thirty three, right? Was it? Uh, yeah. So we've seen much bigger upsets. But I'm gonna go with the favorites here. I think you know probably we'll go with a three man stack of saw, but maybe maybe use a one off here from crazy. Um, next, move on to Illuminar versus uh, Avez. Uh, again, this one is projected to stay pretty close here. Illuminar, uh, slight favorites of minus 141. So let's take a look at the Illuminar, uh, Illuminar side first. Um, we can scroll through their numbers. So we have Innocent at 0.68 kills on 0.67 deaths per round. Uh, Riats at, at 0.69 and 0.66. Maus at 0.63 and 0.66. Veggie, Vigi, 0.68 and 0.70. Again, I'll probably botch some of these pronunciations for sure. Then Snacks, 0.69 and 0.66. So, right, if you just scroll through those guys, they're all very, very similar numbers. Sure, some of the rain 2.0s are slightly different, right? The mouse is a lower rain 2, rain 2 2.0. But everyone else, I mean, it's almost identical. So, when all these plays are, are very, very similar... I mean, I would probably prefer, like, the cheapest. Maybe not Mouse. I think you still can look there, but, you know, Veggie, Innocent, Rats. I think they're all in play. Now, Snacks is still in play, too, but you're probably going to have to overpay for him. Again, if you look at just him compared to everyone else and his team, they're pretty similar, right? So this is a very, very balanced team. Um, I think you can make an argument for any of these guys, to be honest, but personally... You know, if I had to pick, it probably would be those three guys in the mid-tier if, if you're going to make me pick three. Or if you want to go three-man Illuminar stack, it probably would be those three guys in the mid-tier um, because you're getting, you know, a slight discount off snacks. You know, Miles does have technically the worst numbers. You could still look to him, too. But I think the three guys in the mid look the best. But really, on a roster this balanced, you could, I think, all five of these guys are viable, which makes it, you know, a very, very, you know, tricky team to to break down um and then let's talk about the avez side so a little bit different here uh illuminar very balanced avez a little bit different right so let's scroll through these numbers really quick here uh now rot uh 0 0.70.72 basically a fade i think he's a very cheap price at 4.6k i'll probably be staying away i think there's better value options uh, but a guy like Marcos looks decent, right? 0.68 kills round, 0.62 deaths round. He's coming in uh, at 6.8K. I think that looks pretty decent. Key, or Kai Key, uh, has the best numbers on this team. A 0.78 kills round, 0.72 deaths round. So just looking at those numbers, you can tell he's a very, very aggressive player that probably holds his power positions, right? 
maybe compare him to a guy like Hunter on G2, right? He's always in those gunfights. So, yeah, at 8.4K, um, I, I like him a good amount just because you can tell, just looking at those numbers, he's a very aggressive player, a good rating 2.0. So I have interest there for sure, even though he's up there in price. A guy like Kyler, I think is viable, coming in at 6K. He's got decent numbers, right? 0.69 kills round, 0.68 deaths round. Uh, and then Bai Lee uh, coming at 0. 0.7 and 0. 0.66. He's uh, at 7.6K. So I think, you know, the top four guys here for Avez are, are viable. I don't think I would go to Narat. Um, you know, for their prices, probably Marcos and Kyler look the best. But I do like Ki, Kai uh, a lot just because you can tell he's a guy that, you know, does a lot for this team and is in a lot of those gunfights. So this is definitely the, the game, to the key game in my opinion. I, you know, the, the Vegas odds are close. There's, you know, there's tough decisions you're going to have to make. Really, I think you could make an argument for, what, nine of the ten guys in this game or even eight of the ten guys. Like, it's a tricky one to get right. So, um, you know, personally, how, I'm, how am I going to attack this slate? I'm probably going to go with a three-man saw stack. Uh, sure, you can use cr crazy as a one-off, but personally, I'm probably going to go three-man saw stack. And then in this game, it's really going to come down to what fits with my roster. You know, I think, again, a guy like Key for a Vez looks really good. Um, and then those, some of those mid-tier guys for a Luminar. Um, so, yeah, I think that's really going to do it for today's video, guys. So uh, if you have been enjoying the content so far, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. Those things do really help me out to continue to grow this YouTube channel, guys. So, um, And if you listen to this Apple Podcast, a five-star rating and review would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, TBT, we did only have a showdown today. I'm going to have a video up for the two-game slate after this, so be in the lookup for that. Also, golf been going very well. Um, we have another tournament again. I forget what what's the tournament called, um, but that, that we have another Millionaire Maker starting Thursday um, for the uh, Workday Charity Open. I'm working on my spreadsheet now. Should have a video up for that tomorrow. Uh, also, we'll tweet that out, so be in the lookup for, for that as well. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, guys. Hope you guys have a good night, and I will see you all in the next video.